Hey everybody, it's Teresa. I'm doing something a little different today. I'm going to be covering the entire board with black today. And then um, I'm going to do probably colors right across the middle and then swipes down. Um, if I don't like it, I might scrape the whole thing. We're just going to see how it goes. This is, uh, I haven't done something like this in quite a while. Um, probably when I very first began is when I was doing more of the swipe type things. But instead of using a paper towel to swipe, um, I'm probably just going to use one of these sticks. Or maybe my finger, I don't know. So let's check this out. We're going to put black over the whole canvas. Gonna make sure to get this laid out and then let me go put my gloves on real quick. Hey everybody, I can't see who's there, it doesn't tell me. So I hope everybody's having a good day. It's been, um, I was really hoping to have a better morning than I had, but it is what it is. I'm here. Sometimes that's, you know, when you're not having a great day, sometimes that's a good day to paint and sometimes it's not. So if you guys ever are doing this and you're getting frustrated, probably not a good day to paint. But we're going to give it a shot. I've been wanting to do this for a while. And then I saw uh, some of the other people on YouTube and Instagram doing this. And I thought, well, let's give it a shot. All right, so I've got my torch ready. I've got all my paints lined up. I've got gold bronze uh navy blue that's not only navy blue it's got some metallic in it from another paint and then i've got this um extreme sheen aquamarine it was a little bit light so i put a little bit of thalo blue in it i know it's hard to see on that bottle but it is thalo blue so just a little bit it just it didn't darken it up much just a little bit and I may use um, some of this bleach titanium if I think it needs a little bit of beige. So let me grab a paper towel and I'll be right back. All right, so got our paper towel ready. Just gonna um, spread this over the entire canvas. I want a pretty good amount. Don't want to see any canvas through this, so make sure that you go and cover the whole canvas and come back and just check and see if it's leveled out so that you can't see canvas behind it. And I'll do the top and then I'll catch the sides because I'm not going to have the colors that I put on here, they're not going to go over the entire side. So I want to make sure all my sides are covered first, make sure to get the corners really well. Get your fingers down into those corners where they, they fold the canvas around the edges. Okay. Alrighty, so let's see. I would love to hear from people that watch these if they're doing any of these at home. Um, if not, are you stuck? Do you not want to try for fear of messing up? Guess what? I got a whole table full of mess ups, or I got a whole table full of samples, or I have a table full of, hey, I gave it a try. Um, the best thing about this is you can paint over it. One of the few art things where, you know, you can just really just go back over it. It's not going to hurt it. Um, all of my smaller sizes I use up to about 10 times. Um, a lot of them I use for teaching. And it's great, it's one of the best things to show the students is that I've painted over them five or six times. It's not a big deal. Um, you can actually paint over them two or three times and it not be noticeable unless the paint was really thick. Um, once you start painting it over, over it uh, more than about three times, it will be noticeable because as the paint dries over time, um, you'll get little indentations and little, little rivers and stuff like that. Okay, so most of that is pretty flat. I'm going to go ahead and torch it. 
And really, I just want to remove any of the bubbles because I just shook it. Clean that. Make sure that you're very safe when you're using your torch. Turn your torch on. Make sure you're still holding it. Go ahead and light it. Now your flame, you want to run your flame parallel to the canvas. You're not trying to put your flame into the paint at all. You just want to get close enough to pop the bubbles. That's it. You do not want this flame, you don't want your flame pointing into your canvas. There are other projects where uh, you may want to hold your bottle back further and then direct to maybe a certain corner, but you do not want to be close enough to where the flame or just the tip of the flame could touch any of the paints because it, um, it will scorch the paint. And then when you go to tilt, this scorched paint kind of reminds me of like hardened candy. And if you had um, hardened candy stuck in your paint, then it's not going to move and flow. It's just going to be the same design that's uh, scraping the rest of your nice flow. So, anyways, I'm gonna take what I've got, I'm gonna go through the middle, try to make three or four different ribbons um, of really thin paint, and see if we can make this interesting. I really wanna go with a very thin line, so I'm gonna pinch, I'm gonna pinch this and try to make one thin line across. Okay, that's not bad. All right, I think I'll go with bronze. I don't know if I ruined this bronze. I think I might have put too much water in it. I guess we'll find out. So again, I'm going to pinch this one. Hopefully not crack the whole side, but just pinch the top there. I'm going to try to run it through a similar area, but not exactly right over the blue. Okay. All right. Same thing with the gold. Very good mix. I don't want to cover up the blue, but I definitely want to kind of have them at some point crisscross a little bit over each other. Now I'm going with the navy. I almost wonder if this is going to be a mistake because I kind of like these colors. Where's my silver? I think we're going to go with silver. Silver might be a mistake too, but that's okay. It's a metallic. We're going to go for it. Okay, because this is a larger pouring hole, I'm just going to put my hand over it and just do a small drain across there. Worked out pretty good. Okay. Now, let's see. I think that might be enough. Maybe one more line of the blue. Just want to make sure there's enough that when I go to scrape it, it looks okay. Now I'm going to do another torch. I will probably torch this two or three more times. So I'm going to torch this now to remove the bubbles. I see a lot of bubbles in the silver. The silver I hadn't used in a while, so I shook it up a lot more than the other ones. So just try to pop those real quick. All right, make sure you always hold on to your torch while it's turning off. Once you turn the knob all the way off, there's still sometimes the flame coming out. So just keep your hand on it until it's completely, completely shut off. All right, so I will use this. It's not my preferred tool, but I don't have a, um, I don't have a bent scraper. Let's see. I can't think of anything else that I want to use. So we'll give this a shot and see how it turns out. And all I'm doing is going down a little bit into one of the colors and pulling back. And then letting it settle to see what kind of design it makes. Make sure that when you take your stick off of the canvas, that you completely go around because you don't want any of the drips from your stick to get back on your project. And then wipe your stick off again. Hey Jean, thanks for watching. Jean, this is a great project for your real estate customers. Um, if your customers want to get rid of their private art, 
I don't know if you've heard me say this before, but if they want to take down some of their private art and then put up something in the space and they don't have a, a large piece of art, they can always go get a canvas like this, take the colors of the home um, that they'd like to accentuate. You know, pop popular colors right now are still unfortunately gray. Um, they could do a gray turquoise and blackboard similar to this and then, um, you know, put that up over their couch instead of maybe their family photo that they have. But I find this great and I like, to, I like offering it to my customers. You could do this design any way you wanted. Um, I just thought it would be cool to kind of do one up and one down. I saw another artist doing the same thing where they're pulling the design all the way up and then pulling the design all the way down. But I do want some some up, some down with a little space in between, and if I don't like it, then I can go back and pull in between. So I'm going to leave some space. So the first two poles were kind of wide, so I'm going to go a little bit nearer this time and see what happens. Kind of like the wider ones. The good news, all you have to do is go back in and pull down again. The ones in the middle almost look too straight. I might have to go back in and tinker with them. Maybe I'll pull one kind of crooked. Yeah, I like that better. More of a swirl to it. Okay, so these I'm going to go back and give it a little bit more of a swirl. It's a little more interesting. I'll pull something right down the middle here. So I wanted to cover up this pull that I had had a bunch of black in it instead of pulling the bronze color. I don't like that. Now a way that you can change up the design is to still continue to tilt it a little bit. You can see this side is heavier with paint. It's actually moving better. So I'm going to keep that in mind next time. My, my board was probably not level. Okay. I'm going to leave that alone for just a second and see what I want to do with it. So there's something I kind of want to change about it, but I'm not sure what. Let me read the comments real quick. Hey Blaine, hey Sandy. Wooden spoon handle. Nope, don't have a wooden spoon for that. It's more of a flat object. Um, I could probably just use a regular spoon handle. Um, these are too straight, I think. I think I might just try my finger. This needs more black down here too because it looks like it's kind of tipped back a little bit. I'm going to add some here. Yeah, I think I'll add some in that whole one. This is my favorite one right here. And I think the paint was thicker, so that's something for me to remember. Maybe we'll just drag more blue down across here. And of course there's a giant glob. Okay, so let's go ahead and pull that back. Let's see. I think we'll put some more silver in it. I 
Looks like the silver got lost. The silver is a different weight than the rest of these. Um, I think it's mixed a little thinner. So I'll have to check on that. And then there's not much bronze down here at the bottom, so I think I'll run another level or layer of bronze. This is where you just have to tinker with these things. These almost look too similar. I think I'll run my finger in the black to try to change them a little bit. Scoot them back over. I can fill that in. That I actually like better. So, I'm going to blow on it to widen them out a little bit. I'm going to end up tinkering with it too much. Okay, that's it for now. We'll let it dry, see what happens, and go from there. And for anybody out there that hasn't started this, just go play. Give it a shot. Give it a try. Let me know.